Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be doing something a little different from what I usually do. I'm gonna try to explain to you what a meet is and how you perform them. So, the, this is something that most veteran street f uh, fighting game players already know, but for you newer players who have probably heard it on streams or maybe read it in forums, you maybe don't understand exactly what it means and what it is. So, first off, uh, Metis are not Street Fighters um, specific. It implies to all fighting games. You can do it in Street Fighter 2, KOF and so on. But of course they are, they, it's a little different from game to game but the, the principle is the same. So first off I'm gonna be showing you with uh, Oni, Oni's back medium push. I'm gonna show how a Meaty would look like. And uh, as you see if I just hit with it, with it, it looks normal, just like this. But if I do something like this, you see, it looks a little different. It, um, you can uh, see that it hits later than what you think when it do like this. See, it looks, it looks like it hits deeper, and that's how, uh, that's how meat looks like. So. First off, you can, uh, you don't have to do a meaty after a knockdown, yeah. like this. You can do it after a air reset when you do like, when I do the backflip in the air. You can do it. Um, some characters can do it from uh, special rangers where, for some reason, the the hitbox of the one you're hitting is a little weird, especially when you're crouching. So from some distances you can make uh, a move get meaty. So, uh, to explain exactly how meaties work, I have to uh, get into some frame data. So I'm going to be using a, uh, the frame data on eventups.com's page for Oni. So I'm going to look up back medium punch. And here you can see how much damage the move does, stun, meter gain. That's pretty, pretty simple to understand. Next up is start up, active and recover, recovery frames. So all moves are made up made up of frames, and you can say that frames are basically the time of a move. So if we do some easy math here, five plus six plus twelve is twenty-three. So the back medium punch is twenty-three frames. So and every every move in the game has this kind of uh, this implies to every move in the game, all to specials, ultras, and uh, supers too. So, and you divide these frames into three parts. Start up, active, and recovery as we said. And on, here you can see on back medium punch, you can see that the start up is five frames, active six frames, recovery with twelve frames. The startup is basically the build up to the move. As you see, he has to, only has to do something before the move actually can hit Ryu. And it's easier to show with like a, a slower punch, a slower button like forward hard punch, because then you can see that he has to like turn around and stretch out his arm before it actually hits. And so that's pretty. That startup, it's a build up to. Until, until you can hit the opponent. Active frames is the frames where you can hit the opponent. So after I've done the build up, I can hit them. And as you see, the active frames are six frames. So I have six frames where I can hit Ryu. I can hit them on all on six different frames. So and so that's it. Pretty, it's actually pretty easy to understand. So when I hit some him like this, I hit him on the first frame. That's all you have to know for now. Next up is recovery frames, and that's pretty much the time until I can do something again, until I've recovered from the move. So you see, it takes some time before my light punches come out. That's so that's the three parts of uh, a move. Next up, you can see frame advantage block and frame advantage hit. So this is pretty much 
It's actually pretty self-explanatory. It's the advantage you have when you're hitting someone and when you're blocking someone. Uh, well, when someone is blocking and you hit them when, while they're blocking. So I have two frames of advantage on when we use blocking. So I have a little more time to do something before where you can. I have two more frames to do something after after he got hit by a back mid punch when he's blocking. The same with hit. If I hit him, he gets stunned for six frames. So I can do moves that are six frames or faster after uh, oh no yeah si six frames or faster so that's six four three pretty much because it, there are only grabs are two and one frames so that's it's actually pretty easy to understand so next up a meaty why is is it's it called a meaty because you hit someone later into the active frames that's what's happening so normally you hit on the first frame if I do like this I hit maybe on the fourth frame or something like that that means that I still I still inflict the same amount of hits done but I recover faster as I hit him further into the duration of the move so let's do some more math here if I do if I normally do like this then I hit him on the combined the sixth frame then I have uh, five more active frames and twelve more recovery frames until I can do something which is about which is seventeen frames but what if I do a meaty and I hit him on the fourth frame for example then I have I've only gone through the first f uh, nine frames and I have 14 frames left so I have 14 frames until I recover which gives me uh, uh, a, four, a four frame advantage than if it would than if it would hit on uh, the, f the first frame so basically I hit them later into the active frames so I recover faster but I still do the same amount of hits done this makes new combos possible like something like that that won't work like this won't combo and you can do well that's me being bad but you can come into ult right you can do something like that I don't think that works yes it does I'm a dumbass but yeah you can do new combos but so that's pretty much the concept between a meaty but it's that's not the only thing you don't only do meaties to do combos there are probably I would say two more things that uh, uh, people use in their everyday game uh, one thing is when you get the knockdown I would say this is always after knockdown you can do safe pressure somehow so what you do is you do a meaty jab or meaty light kick or it doesn't have to be that it can be special moves and stuff like that but it's most common to do like a meaty jab so I that means I hit them later into the active frames so I have time to recover if they try to do a reversal like an uppercut and as I said this, this is just to keep the pressure going try to do some safe pressure try to bait them to do an uppercut or something like that the third thing is try to get some is to get free ship ship damage and that's basically you try to time I would say it mostly is uh, Hadoukens like you can see I think Ryu usually does it uh, oh whoops wrong one where he would do like something like now I don't have that but if I tr not really sure what to do but you know you can set up uh, the Hadouken so it hits a little further uh, further back into into uh, the other player 
and this basically makes it so that if you do an uppercut you will get hit by it because it's so far back and if you try to do so you pretty much force the block as long as you don't want to get punished or get uh, hit by it if you do a reversal so that's pretty much the three main things why to uh, why you would do meters so I'm gonna be showing you uh, some different examples of how to do this uh, in the end of the video so that's all for me I hope you found it useful and uh, if there's anything you don't understand just write it just write in the comments section and I'll try to answer it and um, subscribe uh, if you like what I'm doing if you want to see more of kinds of these videos and if you would like me to do any more tutorials or try to explain um, other stuff then just comment and I'll I'll take it into consideration so thanks for watching and see you next time